Forewarn weather with Exact Track 4D. Ron Hill, you're joining us now. I cannot think of a better way to end summer yeah. weather wise. I know, it's really, really nice. nice. Yeah, mm. it's cool, a little cool for some people. Um, <laughs> you know, it has me thinking about cider and donuts. Uh, yeah, <laughs> definitely. But some, there's still some summer left. Though. Yeah, there's some summer yeah. left. <laughs> All right, here's what we're looking at heading over the next few days. We are on this roller coaster trend that you see popping up right here. Things are going to be up and down. So while it's really cool out there today, we are going to get back to summer like weather as we get into the middle of the week. In fact, getting above normal into the mid 80s. Normal over the next several days will be 70 degrees degrees and by the weekend the normal highs 77 and then look at that we are going to be a little cooler than normal by the end of the week getting into the 60s for the weekend so a look into the downtown Detroit area this is from the Cadillac Tower looking towards southwest Detroit beautiful conditions a lot of sunshine all across Metro Detroit but again, it is cool out there. It's 67 in Howe, 69 in Flint, 68 for Pontiac, 69 in the city of Detroit. And we go into Mount Clemens. It is 71, 66 for Port Huron. And we're coming in with similar temperatures with 70 in Monroe. Now, those temperatures not very far off from those highs. We only got up to 72 degrees at Metro Airport. The winds are light today, mostly coming out of the north and the northeast, right around 5 to 10 miles per hour. That's a difference from yesterday when we had those gusty winds out there. A few of those gusts, though, are a bit higher, around 15 miles per hour, and a little higher than that in Mount Clemens with 18 miles per hour. So here's satellite and radar. We have a lot of sunshine, don't have any rain showers around us, but there is some rain in the forecast toward the end of the week here in Metro Detroit. This high pressure system that is moving over the Great Lakes area, that is going to give us beautiful weather for the next few days. A lot of sunshine because of that. Now, here's that clouds and radar forecast. Things looking pretty good out there tonight with clear skies, but that is going to help to allow those temperatures to drop tonight. We have cooler, drier air, and then the clear skies. We get into tomorrow. It's mostly sunny to partly cloudy in the afternoon hours with a few clouds rolling in. Things looking very nice for tomorrow night. Let's fast forward to Wednesday. Another sunny day, but look what's happening. We have a cold front that is approaching from the west. And as we get into Thursday, clouds start building. And by Friday, rain starting in the morning and lasting through the day. And a few lingering showers left over for our Saturday. So for the rest of this evening, temperatures dropping off. Pleasant but chilly down into the 50s as we get into the overnight hours for some of us. While it's even lower than that for others. About 51 in Detroit, mainly cloudy. Clear, but look at these low temperatures across Southeast Michigan as low as 43 degrees and how 45 in Ann Arbor. We're about 49 in Lapeer. We're at 50 in Port Huron and about 54 in Gross Hill. A little bit milder getting some compliments from that warmer weather that we have from or that's to say warmer temperatures from the water. So 75 for tomorrow. Here's the next few days. Temperatures going up to 85 degrees by Thursday. And look at that. Those rain showers Friday and U of M playing at the big house for Saturday. Mm -hmm. Lions. Season opener mm, and 66, 66 degrees. degrees for tailgaters. Yeah. You'll want a jacket off. There. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Here we go.